Welcome back, guys. You join us at, at a time of complete pandemonium. All hell's broken loose. The four tribes have gone to war. <laughs> We're four tribes <laughs> gone to war. I can't get that out of my freaking head now. <laughs> yes, but, 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 but. Uh, th there is hope. There is hope. There are peace talks. Uh, but there's, there's going to be no reunification. Oh, no, they're splitting up. They're splitting up and they, they're allocating areas of the map. The Highland Beavers are going to take this quadrant up here. And they're going to be in charge of wind power. And then over here, we've got the Go Go Power Beavers. They're going to be in charge of the power and the manufacturing. Then we're going to have the Lowland Beavers down here. They're going to be responsible for uh, aquatic farming. Oh yeah, we're going to be doing some aquatic farming down there. And then finally, we've got the uh, we've got the pumping beavers, my personal favourite, um, who are going to be in charge of the uh, Mega Giga Terra Dam and all that kind of stuff. Right. So um, I said um, in the last episode, it's still the same day for me. It's confusing uh, that I would run this overnight and I would put in the scenery strip around the outside. So um, I've actually started laying that in. This is going to take hours to put in. Um, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to do the guardrail on the inside as well, which means redoing all of these blooming bridges and everything. Um, I'm going to demolish, obviously, this old aqueduct, which is generating tons and tons of rubble and thousands and thousands of logs. So I'm going to have to put some storage in somewhere to, to collect all of that. Um, I'm going to be really interested to see how much of this they get done. Let's, well... Let's see. I'll see you tomorrow. That was cycle 95. We are now on cycle 107, day 17. The good news is the colony is still alive. The system works. See, this is why, guys, I've been wanting everything to be completely automatic. So there's no manual intervention. There's no setting floodgates up and down each season and whatever. So that the whole thing just works and I can just let it run overnight and the colony still alive. Have they finished it? This is the question. And the answer is yes. It, I tell you what, it was blooming fantastic waking up this morning and uh, creeping into the office, very scared, thinking the whole thing had gone to hell. And it's all done. The whole thing is done. Look at this. And I tell you what, even just like, the, even just plain like this, I am going to add some terrain features to this. But even just like this man it's it's i th i think it looks so much nicer so what do you what do you think picture yeah all the windmills yeah yeah we got all the all the windmills got built wow so windmill central over here which means that we can rip out the windmills um around here which are quite frankly a bit of an eyesore uh, and also the inner the inner guardrail is done all the way around i have to redo all of these stairs and everything um so we will never lose another drop of water every drop of water we get stays on the map unless all of our reservoirs are completely full in which case it'll go off here and i still intend when i get over to the uh, the pumping beavers to, to dynamite this back. Right, so who are we going to start with? We're going to be starting with the Industrial Power Beavers. I've changed the name. Go, go, Industrial Power Beavers. It doesn't really work, does it? No. We'll stick with Power Beavers. So, yeah, the Power Beavers. We're going to route the water um, around here and then down back into here. How I'm going to do it, I'm not entirely sure. We're going to be moving all industry over to the power beavers so that does mean we're going to be ripping some of this stuff out and messing around uh so shall i get started let's get started i'm going to pause the game because i'm going to be messing around with the water supply i think uh the first okay first thing let's have a good demolish shall we yeah let's rip some stuff out right all of these windmills can go bye <laughs> all of that's gone and do i get rid of these ones as well i i think i do i think i do I hope I managed to do that <laughs> without deleting anything important. Okay, with uh, with those done, let's uh, let's see about the water. So I think what what I'm going to do, we're going to have to have some terrain filled in. I think 
like something something probably like that. I need to leave a gap for now until I actually do the change. So this is going to need to be, I'm, I'm thinking th th this water channel is going to get filled in as well. Not completely, but I think we're going to take it down to like too wide. That That's what I'm thinking right now. And I'm thinking that we may elevate this as well. So yeah, lots of changes, lots of changes. These reservoirs are going to go, they'll be emptied. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is gonna be interesting. Looks like, like, if the if the channel came through kind of like this, um, maybe come up one. Mm, yeah, it's gonna have to. It's gonna come up, have to come up a bit higher than that. And I think it's gonna have to be a little bit. What it might have to be on the diagonals. It'll have to be through. Well, two two diagonal tiles wide and then and it can maybe come across here maybe maybe up a couple more and then down like i don't know well, no, i can't do that that one's got to go let me plan out the route this is you know i had the idea didn't actually think it through <laughs> well done sky you've created a rod for your own back just for a change okay here's the plan this gets filled up two tiles all the way back um in, in fact it's gonna have to go back all the way up to here and then we're gonna have a two wide channel one deep that goes around here to here this will eventually get filled in for now i'm gonna let the water flow through there this will get filled in this will only be one tile deep we dynamite this down to this level which is this level this gets dynamited down. The water flows along the edge of here. Um, I've got to remove these trees and then I'll dynamite a channel through here. Then I've got, I've got to somehow figure out how I get the water through here because we've got the power down into there. So the power's going to have to... I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to change something. The water then comes along here. Then it changes to being levees. And I'll have levees on the other side as well. Uh, no. no. No, that's right. Um, this is going to come across here. I need to take that back a couple, I think, and have it coming across here. Then the water will come round here. It'll cascade down these two levels into a little lake because I think I think they deserve a little lake in this corner. I am concerned about the amount of evaporation. So what I'm trying to do is wherever wherever I'm increasing the number of tiles that are going to have evaporation. I'm also reducing our existing system by that much. So if you think that we've got two, like pretty much two tiles wide going all the way around here and this little lake, um, I should gain that back by reducing this to a two tile wide channel. And I'm gonna eventually do that all the way back up to here. I want the edge at this level. So this has got to all come down by that amount which means I'm going to have to somehow have stairs going down to this area. Um, yeah, it's going to take me a while. Let's see, one, two, three, four. We've got a dynamite down four tiles here. This is a lot of work. Uh, I'm Also, I'm going to have to release the water from this reservoir for sure. Uh, and ultimately from that one as well. Uh, I want to do some terrain work around here. Man, I better get on with this. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, there's no way I'm going to get this video out today. So here, I still wanted this road to run straight up here. So I've put in a little road diversion so they can still get up and down. So I'm not interrupting anything. And then I've just built this little bridge across here, which is kind of cool. It's, it's nice being able to do these kind of purely aesthetic things. And... Um, not have to worry about anything else um that's done i i could blow that but uh we need access up here oh, okay well easy 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 why don't i put stairs up there okay and then i can have a path along the edge of the river can't i yeah that makes a remarkable amount of sense, Sky. I've still got to figure out how I'm going to do this. 
I, th I think that's my next job, is to figure out how the hell I'm going to do this. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. Uh, the problem is this is like a major accessory. I'm going to have to do this quickly and prioritise it. Uh, let's get the old demolish tool. What I'm going to have to do is demolish all of that and that. Yeah. Get rid of those. They're in fact, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, yeah, this is not... This is not so easy. What, what I was going to do is just lift this up. One. But, oh man. Well, you know what? Just do it and figure it out later. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do this. So we need to fill this so that the water stays in here and doesn't run down here, which would be a very nice thing. So we'll get that and that filled. Right. So I've got to get that bit dynamited. So we'll prioritize getting that done. Uh, let's let this run. Um, I'll get that dynamited as well. That needs to be prioritized. I mean, I'm just thinking like, well, what if I brought it round here? And that would give me an extra tile to get down here. You know, that might not be... Oh, that's going to involve... Well, I was going to say that's going to involve a, a lot of rework. But actually, that might work, you know. That might work. So if I... No, that's the wrong one. If I dynamited down here in stairs and brought this down there... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could work. For, for anybody that plays the game, they, they will already know that doing little doing little things like this is uh, is one of the most fun parts of the game. Trying to root things through. It, like, if you come up with a little elegant solution, it's, it's very, very, very cool. So I want to prioritise getting those in. We get the next power coming down there. And then... We put two platform on there, stairs, get that prioritized, boom. Okay, so we're going to have, step down, step down, so the power is going to come along here and across here. Okay, we've got the next dynamite, boom, boom. Okay, that gets us down, doesn't it? Yeah, right, shall I blow, yeah, let's blow some dynamite. We have a river channel. Woohoo! And the river channel goes all the way round here now. Oh, we've got uh, we've got two stranded beavers down here. Oh, get you idiots! <laughs> you can play boneheads. No, you know I want them to have access to here, so we'll put in a staircase there and a staircase there. And what am I trying to do? I'm trying to prioritise it. Come on, prioritise. Go. Go. There we go. Nah, they'll, they'll be out of there in a minute. Let's go back around here. I need to get on with doing this and get this finished. And I've realised that that corner's not right, is it? No, it's not, Sky. You messed that up. Yes, I did. Uh, that needs to be filled. That needs to be dynamited. Is that wide enough? Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. Uh, we've got our first load of dynamite done up here, which is great. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of all of that. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. This is working out really well. So, power shaft comes around, goes around the cor corner. Thank you. Goes around the corner. We have a couple of platforms. Look at up with shafts and we're done. Now, as long as I can get the stairs in there, which I should be able to. I think, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. So, what do I want? I want platforms along there. Power. Comes across it. Oh, I need to demolish that tile. There we go. Okay, so that's, that's the power line complete. And then all I need to do is demolish that tile and have a power. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm, I am freaking love. I am just having a ball right now. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Well, I did get it to work. It's a little messier than I, than I would like, but you know, it's it's in. It's fine. And it's it's kind of an interesting feature. I like it. 
I like it, it's staying. Right, how are we doing around here? We've got the path down here so that they can lay all of this stuff now. Good, it's all in range. Uh, this is getting laid up. Right, so they've built this bridge. I'll put a new bridge in over here. So this bridge can go. Oh, what I must start doing is lowering this, like 0.5 at a time. Um, do I want the whole thing? No, that'll be too fast. Oh, we risk we risk flooding. So what I want to do is unsynchronize this and drop it down and just release the water very slowly. Okay, demolition and boom, bye-bye bridge. You've served us well, but your time is done. And then I can carry on with terraforming this up to here. Once I've let all the water out, that can be demolished and I can take this back further. That bridge is going to have to go as well. Good Lord. You know, I had no idea what I was letting myself in for when I decided to do this. This is a much bigger project than I thought it was. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun as hell. But, man, it's, it's a lot of work. Actually, once I've dynamited that, that can actually come out to there, can't it? Yeah, and then there it goes to two again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here, that can be filled in all, all the way to there all right cool uh we need to be able to get to this but to be honest they can do it from this side and work their way along it'll be fine um oh what am i talking about just just take it up to the full two tiles sky you lemon brain bonehead you enjoyed that did you <laughs> yes yeah, so yeah less said about that the better <laughs> All right, we are getting some. I seriously, I cannot wait to release this stream and see it flood around here, fill up the lake, go through here. Now, when we get down to this, because it's going to flow through the power system and come down here. Um, I the thing is, if I don't do anything, it'll flood out here and flood these trees. That would be bad, Sky. Yeah, I agree. So, I think we're going to have to lose a couple of trees. What am I doing? Landscaping tiles. So we need to fill those and those. But I I do think we need to bring in out one more tile to make sure we don't get flooding. So let's get... Uh, what do I want? Demolish resources. Get rid of those two trees for me, please. You know, since we're in the wet season, do you want to see what the scenic strip looks like in the wet season? Have a look at this. What, look at this. We all the green all the green man it looks so much nicer you know i might have to an engineer a situation where we keep this green all year round uh the there's only there's only there's only two ways of doing it that i can think of i've either got to put another pump going up here so that we've got five sets of pumps. So like a set of pumps. So another seven. Or, uh, I don't know if this will work is the problem. If I turn off this, this pump and go into eco mode, the question is, are we gonna have enough water going through here? Because you go, I, somebody in the comments was like, oh, why don't you just uh, turn off a couple of pumps? Because you ran it on two pumps before and it was fine. Yeah, but before, these these three pumps were in the reservoir and they were using reservoir water. Now they're on this, on the riverside. So I don't, so we're running six pumps, three up here and three down here. And it's a question of whether three pumps is going to be enough to keep the water level up you know what i'll run it for the i'll run it for the next dry season on eco mode and we'll see now what that should mean is that we've got four pumps worth of water coming in one pump worth of water going out sorry one three three going out so it means this should actually stay full all year round and we should have a tiny flow of water going through here even cutting it down to three pumps, it's going to be such a small flow of water through here that I can see me going, oh, you know what? <laughs> we still need a bit more water and still putting in the extra pumps down here. But you know what? We'll deal with that when we get to the pumping beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait, can you? 
Right, let's go and have a look over here. How are we doing? This, I love this. I, I love this staircase now. It's epic. I love its epic proportions. That's all done. All the industry is working again, which is awesome. That's great news. D uh, did we lose many? Yeah, we lost a few of our bots. We're down like 15 or so. Now 15, we're down 15 to 20 because I think we had a few extra. Um, but now it's running again. We should, uh, we should get those bots back over time. And there's no great demand for them at the moment. So uh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, by the way, I should mention because we demolished the aqueduct, the wooden aqueduct, we got a lot of logs. Look at this. 35k, 35,000 logs we've got now. I set up a storage over here so that the beavers could collect them and collect them. They did. This row here is planks. What are we up to with planks? Uh, planks, planks, planks. We're at, oh my God, we're at 12,000 planks. I've also got another storage like that set up over here because I knew it's not quite as big as the other one. So um, when I did that, for the logs i thought well we're going to be running overnight well all of our industry is going to be running overnight so what about i put in some extra storage for that so i put in more of the large storages for the dynamite i put in four here for the paper so we've got loads of dynamite loads of paper now and then over here in the industry section which you've probably noticed we've got gears these four are all gears because i didn't know if i was going to do like some big windmill project at some point i'm thinking when we get to the highland beavers there might be some more windmills going on up here because frankly they've got not, not a lot else to do there uh, hey don't you talk disparaging about us <laughs> oh dear i've upset the highland <laughs> beavers now how dare you you low landing son of a <laughs> <laughs> yes Oh, we're going to have some of that crap going on. Yes, yes. Guy's got the voices out. Right. So, <laughs> I want stairs down here. I want to lay dynamite. Let me get on with it. I, I want to see this stream flowing. I think we're ready to do it. I've restricted the flow here to one tile because I wanted to see what the flow was like. And it's, it's about like that. It varies at the moment because I've been playing around with this floodgate. Where, where are we at? We're at one. So, uh, uh, that, this is going to work. Um, if I put in, if I demolish these, that's going to open the channel. There comes the water. At the same time, throw in those three tiles there and prioritize those quickly because I want to follow the water. And here comes the water, greening as it goes. Now, because there's there's some space in here which needs to be filled up, this is the perfect opportunity to drop this down another level. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh they're coming, to, they're coming to do it. They're coming to seal it up. But I want to see, I want to see them seal this up. But I want to see this go green. So, I think I'm going to focus... Um, can we see both? Yes, it's blocked. They have blocked the channel. So now all the water is flowing down here. Right, all of this is going to be fine. Then it's going to fill the lake up. Then, then we're going to find out if, if this works. Because it's going to flood... Well, it's going to flood. It's going to flow through here. But it should be... I mean, it should be fine. It should be... Oh, good Lord. Is it going to be fine? It should be fine. <laughs> Have some confidence, guy. By the way, I do apologise um, to the entirety of Scotland unreservedly for um, for my accent. <laughs> it's funny though, right? All right, let's. Um, while I'm while I'm here, and I think about it, I want to run a platform. Oh, we'll just run platforms all the way along. That's fine. And am I going to fill the path in? Yeah, why not? Why not? Do it. There, 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 and there, there, there. Right, done. Okay, now we can follow this. How are we doing? We're sneaking around the back. They were. Picture's not here right now. <laughs> She's off making a copy. I should have saved that for when she came back. Right, uh, I think we can speed this up, can't we? 
So here we go. We cascade down one level, down two levels. We're down into the lake. This is why it was a good time to do this. Um, and in fact, I think we can probably just let it go, can't we? Yeah. And we'll find it. We'll find out the true level. Look, it's all going green. It's all going green. This is filling up nicely. I think we can speed it right up now. Oh, look at that. Oh, the pet. Go, go, power beavers. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't put... I, I've demolished those trees. Didn't put in the extra tiles, did I? No, I didn't. You lemon sky. Let's put one there, one there. Prioritise getting that done and that done. I don't want to flood this area if we can avoid it. How are we doing over here? Oh, it, we're going... We're going through... Let's slow it down a little bit so we can actually keep a track of what's going on. So it's come down here. It's going to go along here. And then it's going to come down here. We're not going to get these built. Oh, yes, we are. Boom, boom. The only way we can actually see what's going on is to drop these levels down. Go on, all the way. And there we go. Oh, here it comes. Perfect timing, Sky. My God. How did you manage that? The water comes through and is released into here. Now, is it going to flood is the question. Should we crank it up? Let's crank it up. Is it going to flood? And the answer is apparently no. It's going to be fine so far. <laughs> yeah, it looks absolutely fine. Wow. Yep. No flooding of any description. How about around here? No, it's all good. It is all good. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm very I'm very pleased as well. What we can do now is consider a bit of beautification in this area. Oh, oh, oh that is that is awesome. Picture's back. Look, picture. I've made this corner all green and we've got a nice river flowing through it and everything. Yay. Yeah, I know, right? It is very pretty. Oh, I, I'm pleased with that. I really am. I like that we've got a few levees in as well. Make it a bit a bit beaverish. I should put like some roofs and stuff on here, shouldn't I? What the hell's wrong with me? Why aren't why aren't I putting roofs and stuff on? And I'm having double decker storages and stuff. Oh, I can do a lot here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also want to make this a bit more organic round here. It's far too square and blocky. So, I tell you what. This, oh, well, this can come out now, can't it? Yeah, it can, Sky. Rip it out, then. You throw your filthy stuff out in the street. Boom. And this bridge as well. Goodbye. All right. Oh, let's look. They're instantly coming and picking up the rubble and taking it away to the storages, which is awesome. Um, right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of this. I'm going to do, this is coming down a level. Yeah, this is coming down a level. Um, oh, this is coming down. Yeah, this, this should actually come down a level. What the hell am I doing? Uh, pause. Um, do I want... I've got to decide if I want that at that level or if I bring it down a level. Uh, you know what? I honestly don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Um, you'll find out probably in about two seconds. It's day three of cycle 110 and I'm done. Well, I'm not done, but that's as much as I've got time for. I didn't think this was going to be such a big project. It's, um, it's huge. It's huge, frankly. The water is just coming down, as you can see. We can crank that up and see that advance down the scenery strip. As you can see, we are, we are completely green over here. Um, but of course, this means that the water did dry up. Oh, what happened, Sky? Did you have to turn on the fourth pump? No, <laughs> the fourth pump is off and has been off all the time. Uh, we manage down here. It's fine. Uh, the water stays at, you know, that 0.65 level, like, all the time. It's never changes. But 
the evaporation in in the reservoir is enough that it goes down not very much like but at the end of a i don't know i can't remember how long the last drought was 20 22 days something like that we were down maybe half a tile maybe half a tile so yeah i don't know whether we're going to be able to have this um this running all the time um but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it running on three pumps because you know why not as you can see the helix i've done a lot of terrain work on the helix as you can see the river now greens all of this area because i've taken this back this looks a lot better now i think it probably maybe needs a little bit more work but it's looking nice it's looking nice and when uh, when we get over here I'll, I'll do some more work over here i think but for now the power beavers looking good looking very good this is the home of the power beavers and then over here i've put I've put lots of roofs and things on the industry buildings and my god does it look a lot better now uh, I've dotted a few trees around up here those won't be cut so those will be there all the time I've got a, a couple of birch trees up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the planting from those so that um, hopefully they'll spread and fill in this corner that'll be really nice uh, I, I mean I'm going to do some more beautification work on here. I do have to move. I completely forgot, I'll be honest. I've got to move uh, the paper mills and the uh, explosives factories over there. I mean, gears and planks, I think we're fine. Oh, and I've got to move. I've got to move the wood workshops as well. God, God. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. But you know what? We'll do that when we're, when we're doing this town. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan okay uh what else oh as you can see i've done a little bit of work on the scenery strip to uh kind of create a bit of a backdrop i i, I just ran out of time i there's only so, there's only so much i could do um i'm thinking we're gonna have a, a forester probably here and plant up a few more trees and stuff and the crowning glory obviously these are industrialized power beavers they need a bit of science going on so we're gonna i thought this is a perfect place for the crowning glory where is it uh science observatory i thought we'd have an observatory on here yep boom in it goes and we'll crank up uh we'll crank up a path oh yeah oh yeah i think i think once we get um once we get maybe a few trees dotted about and some plants and some stuff this it's going to look really, really good. So I think what we'll do as far as episodes is we'll have an episode for each of the four tribes. And then we'll have a wrap up episode where we can go around. We can do any last few tweaks and, um, and just generally enjoy the awesomeness. What do you think of that idea? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, Picture Perfect can't say goodbye today because she's, she's disappeared. She's not here. So it's just me. Bye, guys. I'll catch you for the next one. Hope you enjoyed all of this. One last look. Peace out.